this comes out okay, a little bit of wind noise going, so I might have to redo it so you'll never see it to begin with. Um, so wonderful things are still afoot. Uh, we still have winter here. We actually had snow down to 6,000 feet this week. Uh, even would have been on these lower level mountains, but definitely on the higher level, we've got a refreshing uh, up high. It just won't go away. There's a little town out in central Nevada called Austin that got 10 inches of snow. It sits at 8,000 feet or so, so, you know, not a big surprise, I guess you'd say, but 10 inches of snow in June will throw anybody off their game, right? <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty amazing uh, winter we continue to have. Washoe Lake here is still full of water. It's not uh, quite as high as I think uh, they somehow thought it might get to, but it's got a lot of water. Yeah, water, water everywhere. Um, but that's not why I wanted to make this video during the drive time. I continue to watch people uh, as the vents unfold out there uh, as the uh, Antifa and the Antifa counter protests uh, went down and I guess there was an anti Sharia law protest whatever that means I mean pretty much our daily existence is anti Sharia law um, but I just see a lot of disturbing trends as we are not, maybe not we, but people continue to revert to things that are familiar and revert back to old ways instead of seeking a new path and trying to find our way out of this mess. I watch these protests and the Antifa thing and it, it's, a, it's a shame it can't evolve into something uh, productive. But it devolves into us versus them, two sides of the political coin story. It turns into left versus right uh, at the end, ultimately. Uh, whether you want to call it the narrative, you can go to YouTube, alternative uh, uh, channels on uh, the YouTube and on other sources, and they always revert to left versus right in their narrative. They don't brand, they don't stand on principle. People carrying Trump banners at these protests aren't benefiting anybody. Trump doesn't stand for anything. Why would you carry a banner of him? Why are you? Nobody in Washington D.C. defends needs defending. Trump does not need defending. <coughs> Having everybody else carry his water for him has enabled him to get this far. Uh, I think it's really a shame that people just don't seem to get it still to this point that the solution has to come from you and your level and it has to be devoid of Washington DC interference the reliance on Washington and the, the hope that somehow the old ways will be new again uh, is just a false narrative, a false hope, how many other terms can you throw out there of, of just give it up. You got to look for something new. It's going to have to be from you and your local neighbors and that local level. And if you hate your neighbors, I feel sorry for you, but that's all that's going to solve this problem. Or may not even solve the problem, may just have to eliminate the problem to bring up new problems. Um, it's it's just a it just pains me to watch as people revert to backing Trump they should be backing principles against these Antifa because the Antifa are 
apparently really understand what they want. They want big government through force, essentially. Which we kind of assume they believed in anyway. That's what communism ultimately always results to in learning from history is it devolves into violence to bring forth communism. So they seem to be pushing that narrative and fully enforcing it and believing in it. Meanwhile, on the on the supposed opposition side, you go out there, you supposedly support a return to constitutional principles and republic, but yet continue to support and hold up the office holders who continue to break their oaths of office, who continue to enforce unconstitutional rules and laws and these imposed orders that have no basis in their authority, and you continue to uphold their signs, hold up their banners, and if for no other reason just to oppose the other side, because you think that's what they're against maybe. Maybe that's your way of sticking it in their eye. Maybe that's the only thing you see you can rally around. And that's a shame. If the only thing that we can think, or people think they can rally around, is the executive office holder, we're lost already. And that was, I mean, really, when you go back to the origins of the Tea Party movement, that's what was great about it, is that it was, it wasn't leaderless, but it didn't have a central figurehead. It was dispersed. It was decentralized. And that is really what we're going to need is a decentralized effort. Standing on principle. Always looking back to what is in the best interest of liberty and freedom. Individual rights. Individual freedom. Looking back towards that to see if you're on the right path. Not looking to Washington, D.C. to see if you're on the right path. It's insanity. It's what our forefathers and our fathers and mothers and we have been doing for decades. Is looking to Washington, D.C. for solutions. And being failed and misled and deceived. And we're dece we are deceiving ourselves to think that we can go against Antifa. <coughs> any other organized group the same way because I guarantee you Washington DC doesn't care Washington DC can't wait to come in and take over your local police force and enforce the rules and regulations the way they see fit because these Antifa protest organization organized groups get out of hand they're just waiting to be able to drop that rule of law on people as they're gonna call it enforce the rule of law protect the people it's coming and people are begging for it and it, it just continues to pain me and I, and I get and I I get opposing Antifa and protesting against them but I'd have a hard time standing on the same corner with somebody holding a truck sign because you're still lost in the sauce you're still not seeing the big bigger problems that are caused by people like Donald Trump, that are caused by people that support him at the higher levels, and ultimately I still think he's a big deceiver anyway, uh, and just playing it for the game that it is. The man shows no direction, provides no direction, shows no leadership, and just continues a firebomb, scorched earth policy of just to offend as many people as he wants to without having any clear direction about what he's going to do because he has no principles. Make America great again doesn't mean anything. He can make America great by just going to war apparently. So people need to wake up. People need to get it. And everybody's going to find their own path, their own way there. And the answers are all different all around the country. The answer is never Washington, D.C., what comes out of there. And you gotta look around. Maybe you gotta make some friends with your neighbors. Or at least find out what common ground you may have. Because in the end, it's gonna be you two. You, 
you know, you hand fall against the oppressors. Ain't nobody else coming in to save you. Guarantee you that. So just some thoughts for today, people. You want to do? Prepare. Live free.